I know we start every video saying we're very, very excited for tonight, but tonight we're really excited because it is the kickoff of Knott's 100th anniversary celebration. The farm dates back to 1920, and 2020 was supposed to be their big anniversary year, but we know that didn't happen. So it's actually kicking off tonight, and we just had some appetizers at Amber Waves. We were here for dinner last night and got to see Karina. Tonight, Daniel was there, and Daniel's like, well, they all are. They're all like family. So yes. it was good to see him. Everybody is good, so now we're heading into the park. Let's go. All right, we are inside of Knott's for the kickoff's 100th anniversary celebration. We've got our cards and there's a list of food on here for the summer nights. We also saw there's a thing called Moments in Time that you can scan with your phone and it tells you a little bit of park history. So we want to go get a spot for the kickoff at 7.30 and then we'll come back and take a look at uh, what these moments in time are and see more of the decor. And they also gave us these cool masks. Jen, oh, yours isn't on, Jen, hold it up. Marilyn and Cecilia are very excited for the 100th anniversary. And quick fact, these two were at one point the most photographed people in America. And Kodak had to, Kodak actually asked Knott's who they were because they were in so many photographs. True story. There are numerous photo ops around the park from old attractions that people miss and were very adored. And the first one we came to was the Haunted Shack which sat approximately where the big stage is now, where Scream and Swing used to be. So Nick is holding us a spot in front of the stage. There's going to be a special presentation for the 100th anniversary at 7.30. But they've got everything set up for Not Summer Nights, which starts tomorrow. There's a tasting card, kind of like a mini food festival. Within this 100th anniversary celebration, we already saw the Haunted Shack. Super cool. That was so cool. You get to actually yes. walk inside of it and take a picture. And I see one for Kingdom of the Dinosaurs right across the midway here. So we're going to go over there now. Let's go look. Long time no see. Good to see you again, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna try it too because I got this. Uh, there it is. There it is. Yeah. I haven't surfed in a long time, but uh, hey, dude. Yeah, there we go. Three. He's a natural. Right? It's a big deal. I haven't been able to see. I've been able to see for a long time. Your name is Jerry Attrick. Jerry Attrick, yeah, from the Attrick family, you know. <laughs> Originally the Attricks of Ohio, but uh, you know, we're now down. Down in Buena Park now, right? Yeah. And this is Sandy, Sandy Shores. Sandy Shores, that's my name, man. Don't wear it out. The Shores part, um, not sure where it came from, but hey, that's my last name, dude. <laughs> Jen. Oh my gosh. Look at. <laughs> Whoa, wait till you see this. This is the original K from on top the sky cabin. 
replaced with the new one that's all LED that they're going to light up for the first time tonight. And it'll be a nightly ceremony starting tomorrow for the 100th anniversary celebration. Let's look at this. Wow. Now, one of the most loved rides at Knott's Berry Farm, other than Berry Tales and Kingdom of the Dinosaurs, was definitely the Soapbox Racers, and it sat right here where Accelerator is at today. Now, I've said this before, I know the other park down the street decorates for the holidays and their special celebrations, but nobody, nobody does decoration and celebrations better than Knott's Berry Farm. I know a hundred years is kind of a big deal, but even through all the taste festivals when the park was technically closed, they went above and beyond what they really needed to do in terms of de decor and entertainment. And just walking around for a couple minutes now because the gates just opened, we're like blown away by all of this stuff. The Knott's Berry Farm's 100th anniversary celebration. And to start the festivities off right, please give a rip roaring round of applause for Crazy Kirk and the Hillbilly. faces that travel here tonight via stagecoach or pony to celebrate a milestone unlike any other, a feat so few ever achieve. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, I am speaking about the Knott's Berry Farm Centennial Celebration! <laughs> yes, indeed, people, it was 100 years ago that Walter and Cordelia Knott began farming this very land underneath your feet and in so doing, they kicked off a Southern California sensation. First, with the cultivation of the sweet, sweet boys and Mary. And then, followed up with the sumptuous creation of Mrs. Knott's fried chicken dinner. Oh, my word. Whose mouth isn't watering out there right now just thinking about that meal? Oh, my, seriously, people, they give you pie and coffee with this thing. <clears throat> 100 years of good food, happy memories, and old time adventures. All right here at Knott's Berry Farm! <laughs> I am beyond proud to serve as your deputy mayor, but I am even prouder still to welcome to the stage our fearless leader here in the Old West. Put your hands together, Calico, for the vice president and general manager of Knott's Berry Farm, Mr. John Storbeck! 
farm everyone we are humbled and honored that you are all here to celebrate this monumental milestone with us after such a long hard year it feels good to be together again thanks Snoopy we'll see you a little later it's been over a hundred years in the making but we are all thrilled to welcome you to Knott's Berry Farms 100th anniversary celebration, the Knotts Family Reunion. It was over a hundred years ago that Walter and Cordelia Knott farmed 20 acres of leased land here in Buena Park, California. The Knotts spirit of hard work and down-home hospitality still drives our business today. We have a lot in store for you this summer, which you all get a chance to experience tonight, including the return of Knotts Summer Nights and the all-new K-Tower, that is back as a beacon of light to welcome guests to Knott's once again. The Knott's 100th anniversary is a celebration of family and togetherness. And with that, we're very excited to welcome some old, but some new friends to our Knott's family today. First, I'd like to introduce a family, a returning family member known for his tall tales and a true legend in his own right. My new pal who's fresh off the mining train Whittles! We're proud to have you back here on the farm after all these years and look forward to many years to come. Also returning to the park this summer is a reimagination of a beloved classic attraction with the all new Knott's Berry Tales Return to the Fair. Absolutely. The story takes place 35 years after the original adventure and follows boys and bear and girls and bear as they travel to the country fair to earn the blue ribbon prize for their famous boys and berry pies. The crafty coyote is back along with his mischievous pups intent on stealing all their pies for themselves. With jelly blasters in hand, guests can help recover the stolen boysenberry pies as they travel through the whimsical world of berry tales once again. Tonight, I'm happy to welcome two new friends to the park, Boysenberry and one of our coyote pups, Moxie. something special in honor of the family who started it all. We had hoped to perform a show inside the theater along with the rededication, but nonetheless, the newly refurbished Walter Knott Theater will be the home of many more wonderful productions to come, including the famous Snoopy on Ice show during Knott's Merry Farm. We're honored to have one of the Knott grandchildren here with us tonight, Steve Knott. Steve, would you mind standing up? And to continue the Knott family legacy, I'm pleased to announce that Knott's Berry Farm will be partnering with the Boys and Girls Club of Buena Park in a big way this year. In honor of Knott's Berry Farm's 100 years in this community, we are making a commitment to offer 100 acts of service performed by Knott's Berry Farm, Knott's Partners, and Knott's Associates. These 100 acts of service will include building and landscaping upgrades, new hangout areas for the kids, a new outdoor play and fitness facility, career mentorship, and so much more. Our team has already begun several of these projects and we look forward to the opportunity 
to help provide the resources and space that the club needs to continue to do the amazing work that's already being done there today. We are thrilled that members of the Boys and Girls Club of Buena Park and their board members are here with us tonight to celebrate. Thank you all for being here. Everyone, once again, welcome back to the farm. Enjoy our family reunion. My mother and my grandmother and my family had come west, both covered wagons and for the railroads, and we thought that those people of that time had something really that would be good for our generation to have a little better understanding of. So we started out to build a little town. It was a stirring period, the period of people who went through great hardships, and yet they accomplished a very great deal. That was why we started Ghost Town. We're glad you all could join us. We're happy as can be. We sang some songs and raised the roof and shared our history.
September, every summer night, we will be out here partying with you all. We know you are ready to celebrate. Am I right? Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, please welcome our party band, Hi! So there's these moment in time things all over Ghost Town. So Jen's going to scan it with her phone. <laughs> or maybe not. This is only a half an hour video, Jen. Oh, how cool. Not focus. There we go. Oh, so cool. So it gives you a history of the park. So all you do is you scan these QR codes and there's several of them and then it pulls up a YouTube video. Everybody is over by the mine stage and getting food. So there's literally no one here in Ghost Town or right underneath the sign. And I was just saying to Jen, we were here closing night, March 13th, 2020. We stayed for the closing announcement. Yeah. And we thought we'd be back in two weeks and we weren't. Here we are over uh, 15 months, 16 months later. And this is the first night that it feels like Knott's is back alive. Yes. We're here for all the tasting events, which are wonderful. But there's music, people are laughing and running around, and the rides are going, and the characters are back out, and we're back. We're back. We're back. The music's playing again. So let's go walk around. I don't know where everybody is. It's like we're here by ourselves, but let's keep walking. Let's go. My guess is this is going to be the Whittles photo op. He's not out. He was on the stage earlier, but he's not in the park right now. So I'm assuming this is where he's going to be, right underneath Silver Bullet. All right, we were in front of the new Walter Knott Theater, which used to be the Charles M. Schultz Theater, and they confirmed that there will be a Snoopy on Ice this Christmas. And the theater has been renamed for the founder of the park in the honor of the 100th anniversary. And my napkin just flew away. And we... <laughs> there we go. We've got some boysenberry sangria Cheers. and there's some boysenberry pie. Cheers. Happy anniversary, Knott's. That's a wrap for the kickoff of Knott's 100th anniversary celebration and summer nights here at Knott's Berry Farm. We had an amazing time. To be honest with you, I was a little overwhelmed. They gave us food cards. And I didn't use any of them. I was so excited seeing all the photo ops and the lights and the characters out and all the decor around the park that I completely missed <laughs> doing any of this. Nick and Jen had a little bit of food and we'll edit that in, but had so much fun. Nice to be back and see the rides running, the characters out and just some energy again. So we'll be back on Saturday for a regular trip here to the park. See what's different during the day. Hopefully we see Whittles and the Berry Tales characters. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not already following on social media, you can do so at the Funnel Cake blog on Facebook and Instagram. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and a big old like on that video that helps us out. So we'll see you again on Saturday at Knott's Berry Farm. So I'm back again. I've said the video was over, but partially because I never stopped talking. But Knott's put so much effort into everything they do, all the taste events, all these anniversaries, everything. Like they go above and beyond what any other theme park would do. And that's why we love Knott's Berry Farm.